We're looking at pages 15, 16 on uh, page 11, 27 of Algebra 2. And this is about, um, what do they call it here? <clears throat> Radicals and exponents. And I'm not sure if you remember this. Uh, it's been a while probably since you dealt with this, but um, we can turn a radical into <clears throat> a fractional exponent. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, let's take this first one here. What is this index? If we don't see the index, we assume it is 2. And then with any variable, if we don't see an exponent, we can assume it is 1. All right? This is not hard. It's just different. Here we go. We can write this as x to the, we take this exponent and put it on top, put the index on the bottom. So it's x to the 1 half power. Okay? So the exponent, the power, is actually 1 half. That means the same thing as the square root of something. So this is the third root of, in this case, a squared. So let's see if you can do this with me. All right, A, can you predict what the exponent would be? So we have fraction. Did you think 2 over 3? Good. Let me simplify this first. <clears throat> Just this denominator would be x to the... You see the 5 and the 3? So we'll do the 5 over 3, that's the denominator, and then up here I have 5. Now I could leave it as 5 over that, or I could write it as 5 times x to the... Now when I take this whole thing to the top, the exponent changes to become negative 5 thirds. It's the opposite sign. Remember when we flip from one side to the other side of this line. So a positive 5 thirds denominator down here becomes negative 5 thirds on the top. All right, let's do one more example. This one actually is from the homework and uh, doesn't... It looks a little tricky, but it's not as bad as you think. <clears throat> So on the top, we'll start with 2 to the, now there's no exponent, but I can assume it's 1, so 1 third, all over 2 to the, and again, there's no index here, but we know that that's going to be 3 over 2. Now we can go a step further than we have with these other problems, because when I bring this up, it becomes 2 to the negative 3 halves power. Now watch this. Because the base is the same, 2 and 2, now I can add these two exponents. When you multiply and the base is the same, you add the exponents. These are just fractions, so we can just add 1 third plus negative 3 halves. Okay? So you got to get a common denominator and go through all that. I'm not going to do that for you right now. I'll let you finish this one. But when we bring it up, you add the exponents, if the base is the same. All right, there's a few others in this lesson. There were, again, not a lot of problems to solve, so it shouldn't take you too long. And a couple of them are a little challenging, but this is, they're still following the same general principle here. And hopefully it'll make sense and it'll do well.